me i normally advise farmers that it's better you get specific land even if it's one acre and then you divide it into half half and then you plant you do um, single crop is better than intercropping okay so you advise people should do the single crop the single crop than yeah monocropping than uh, intercropping yeah because i know I, I saw a cassava farm where normally before so cassava due to the duration they plant maize in between yeah you can still do it yeah it, it, you can still do it just that you have to know the time of planting you see meaning your maize has to get to a certain point before you can intercrop cassava within okay. uh, because when the maize start to start off the the you see as it, uh, the male flower uh, is opening up it will be dropping on the floor so when it falls on the cassava it cannot even bend the cassava Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So you have to <clears throat> make sure that it doesn't it pass through that process before you do your intercropping. Yeah. I understand. I understand. I understand. So yeah, from that stage, I'm going to the the tasseling stage. The tasseling stage. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, join us as you get into the co uh, conversation. If you've reached this point, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and like again. The like is very important, so please like. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's get into the other part of the video. So um, currently we are at the tasseling and soaking stage. I hope I'm right. Sure. Yeah. So up here is come to take us through what or the care and the measures that should be taken when we get to this stage of the maize farm. Yes, up here. Yes. All right. Um, at the uh, tasseling stage, normally, you know, when when the maize starts to tassel, or the tasseling stage is also called the. Um, the 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 uh, pollen uh, the pollen um, formation stage the okay. pollen stem, uh, formation stage yeah, so yeah. you see that there is some powdery um, on the on the on the uh, tassel you yeah. see and so at this stage you see that um, the flowers will be developed so bees will be coming on the plant uh, they, okay. they normally come on. so we don't disturb them by spraying other sensitive uh, chemicals uh, so we, we also, we, it, it, they also help in uh, the formation of the, uh, the, the the ears, you see. So we don't disturb the the, the bees at all. So when um, the plants start to tassel, we don't come, we don't go to the farm for two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, for two weeks. Uh -huh. just to help the bees to get their freedom. Because mm. uh -huh. they they help, they also help in the formation. Yeah, in the in that process. Ah, so the bees do they do the pollination? Uh... Oh yeah, you know pollination like. They, they do transfer, uh, so they also transfer some of the pollen grains to other plants, you see, for the formation. So during that time, we don't disturb them at all. Yes. Yeah. But looking at the leaves, some of them, like, you see, you see what's happening? Yeah, and the whole you see, it's because um, it has stopped raining for some time now. That's why you are seeing the lower leaves to be... Um, like dried out, they are dying also. Yes. Yeah. So, during this uh, tasseling stage, we do top dressing. Top dressing is the stage where we apply um, high uh, amount of nitrogen to the plants. So, so that we can go... fertilizer or how? Yeah, it's a, it's a fertilizer. Nitrogen is a fertilizer. We don't apply any form of fertilizer other than nitrogen. Okay. So we normally use urea. So at every, every plant, we give 2 grams per plant. Yeah. Okay. So we put it 5 centimeters beneath the plant. Mm. Yeah. So it's also help in, uh, in good formation of uh, plants, like the the cups. Uh, so at the tasseling stage, that's uh, this what happen. You see, it's, okay. it's mainly for flowering uh, formation, flowering formation. So uh, from there, then you move to the other stage. You know, the silking. The other stage is called silking. Okay. Silking starts when um, the plant gets between 11 to 15 leaves. 11 to 15 leaves. Yes. So you count two. all the. Yes. So like one leaf, two leaf. Yeah, one leaf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, it's actually it's fifteen. Okay. Yes. So this is when the silking starts. Silking means uh, silking is the development of the uh, genosia. Gen this is the genosia. If you can see. This the small maize. Yes, it, it, this no maize. It has not yet get to uh, the maize itself. Okay. There okay. is no nothing in it, but 
the process in which um, all uh, from here, from this uh, angle to this side, you see, it's passing through a process before it forms uh, the maze The maze itself. Okay. So this process is called the genosia. Genosia. Yes. And it's really new thing. <laughs> genosia. Genosia. Okay. So at this time around, you see, you see that um, you 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 see that the uh, the let me say this this um, I forgot the name, but you see that to be forming. Like you see that. Sometimes when you, you are even chewing maize, you see that kind of... Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also the maize, yeah, yeah. Yes. So this is the formation. This is how it forms before it moves to the next stage. Yes. So without uh, this uh, activity, you, you, know, you can't get the maize you are expecting. So yes. The silking stage must be, must be before the maize can be uh, appropriate. Like you can get the maize itself. Okay. Yes. Okay. And you said so normally how long does this stage take? The soaking stage. Oh, the soaking stage. It starts immediately after the um, formation of the, um, the, the the tasseling. You see. So after the flowers, then the soaking stage will also follow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So by the next two weeks, you see that it has started forming. You see. After this cycle has, has complete, then you, you start seeing the cups in it. Okay, so the next one, so from the silking, then we go to the milking stage. Oh, so that's when finally, like, it becomes... yeah, the milking stage is at a point when maybe you want to, like, at a point you can you can eat some. You okay. see, ah, that's the edible part of the maize. So how long does it, uh, how long does it take from this stage to like? It takes three weeks. Okay. It takes okay. three weeks to the milking stage. Mm. Yes, it takes three weeks to the milking stage. So, ah, so you know that every leaf, every maize that grows to the Talking and the casting thing. Yeah. If the leaves are less than 15, it means it's a No, it has, you know, each leaf has uh, another formation. So, for example, if we were, as we, we said uh, previously, mm -hmm. you know, when we're having two leaves, that was the um, the seedling stage. Okay. So, from the two leaves, then it moves upwards. Uh, you see, okay. then before the growth stage also comes, that from five to six leaves. Uh -huh. Then from 11, going then you see that the formation will be start uh, okay. yes okay. Yeah. okay all right so like so from which stage what, what, what stage are we going next? to the milking stage like? so if you want the maize to dry then you have to get a dry stage the okay. dry stage is at the point where um you 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 leave um the milking stage like you not touch it you not harvest it you leave it for it to dry you see the sun dry so it go beyond the normal fruiting the normal fruiting stage. yes uh -huh. And the reason why we don't normally prefer, we have varieties of maize that we use for um, either you want it dry or the veg uh, vegetable maize. Mm. So this type of maize is the fl uh, the flint uh, corn, flint corn. Sure. Flint corn uh, doesn't have a lot of fiber. Okay. So we normally it's not advisable to use to feed poultry. Oh. So okay. for human consumption. Yes, that's why we sell it at the vegetable stage. Uh -huh. So we sure. don't leave it to dry. Sure, sure. Mm. So there are some types that can be used. Yes, for the dent, the dent, you know? the dent is used for, um, like, uh, for feed, for feeding uh, poultry. We have the dent variety and then the flat corn. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's. So as as you so just take you guys through the tasseling and the silking stage. Yes. We are we are going to the milking stage. So we have a look at how a matured maize look like. That yeah. you can finally say yes. You've, you are harvesting your maize and it's fit for consumption. So yeah, join us as we just go to the next stage of the maize production. Um, we are currently at the milking stage, that's the final stage. At this stage you can tell that yes, at least you are getting there, you are able to harvest maize. Sure. So yeah, up here, you are at the milking stage, what, mm -hmm. what can you tell us, what can you teach us? Alright, um, you know, after the uh, the pollination stage, you, you you move to the milking stage. Yeah. So at the milking stage, that's when like a lot of farmers become happy. At least yeah, uh, because at least they've seen the 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 product of what they've been doing. Uh, what they've been doing. So at this stage, you see that the blisters will start forming. What's the blister? The, the blister. You see, from this 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 uh, angle to this side becomes the blister. Okay. So the blister forms when the, the corn start to uh, produce. As in, the, in the normal way, we say the maize like is ready. Gun, the okay. maize is ready to uh, to to consume. So this is called blister. 
Okay. But if you take it one, it's called ear, one ear. So in maize, in actual sense, this no this, this the plant is called the maize. The plant is the maize. It's the maize. So ah. what to choose is the what? This is the blister. Okay. The which one is the corn? The corn, if you open it, you see, this one, if the husk are on it, and then this one's two are on it, That's then the it's blister. called a blister. But, but you if you remove it, if you de dehusk it, then you get the corn. The oh, corn is on the, the ear. Okay. okay. Ah, you know, look at the one we used to. And if you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. You, I yeah. guess you. yeah, that's the. That, um, that's the. Um, let me see. That's the ear. One ear. Okay. And then the corn is on the ear. Ah, uh, so. I don't know for those watching outside, you might not know this, but what's it? I can say a brodia. A brodia. Ah, uh -huh. so that's the ear. Yeah, like. That's the ear. Okay. Yes. Okay. So when when you take this one like this, you see, if you take it, you have to you have to get what you are expecting or the one you call maize. You in see, it. you have to get it in it. So like, I want to ask something. So let's say it's like this. How yes. would you know that? Okay, it's matured. I'm, I'm oh, you feel it. You see that um, uh, the the uh, let me say the mesh, okay. uh, this one, it will turn. You see that when uh, we are the silking stage. Yeah. This is how it it it, it formed. It was still uh, like it, it was somehow oh, it pink. Was fresh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was pink. Ah, but it's, it's wet too. Yes. Okay. So when when it's ready, you see that it becomes very hard. You see in some way. Oh yeah, like uh -huh. there's so actually a difference. It. Yeah, okay. you feel it. Okay. And even when you hold a blister like this, you feel it too. Mm. You see, you because feel that there is something there's in it. Amazing. Yeah, you get it. Okay. Hmm. okay. So at the milking stage, this is normally the one we used to call the fresh maize or the vegetable maize. And That's that you can, like so. Yeah, we... you can get it out to buy. You okay. know, so we okay. no, we we normally go into the production of vegetable maize. So this is what we are expecting from our field. Okay. So at this point in time, our maize is ready to harvest. Okay. So one minute, eh, we'll show you the vegetable maize. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's not yet, it's not it's not well grown. You see, even though it's at the milk, you can you can take it, but it's not well grown. Mm. You see, as, 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 as oh yeah. Fair, so this see. okay. Yeah. So this is the cooked one, and then. This is the ah, so this is not well grown, right? No, it's not well grown, oh, right. but it's at the milking stage. Okay. Yeah, it's at the milking stage. So you can consume it. Oh, then no problem. Yeah, okay. you can consume. So it. yeah, so this is the this is the uh, vegetable mesh, right? The sure. cooked one. And this is the cooked one. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you can feel how milky it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so That's this nice. is the milking nice. stage. Anyway, you're invited, then, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tasting for so you. So this this I, I I always say the variety that we planted here. This one contains a lot of uh, calories, you see. Oh, okay. Yes, it doesn't contain much fiber. So this one is good for human consumption. Okay. You see. But the dent, the dent is uh, normally white, the white corn. Yes. Okay. So that one there, it contains a lot of fiber. So it used to feed poultry and then other uh, mm. farm animals. Okay. Yeah. So that was actually this one. Is it? Sorry, which variety is this one? This one is a uh, uh, flat corn. Flat corn? Yes. It's the same as this. So, when this one, one is yellowish. Yeah, it will grow because it has not grown well. Fully mature. That, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why I've seen it this way. Okay, so, that's the one that is fit for consumption, yes. as you can see. Yeah. Mm. And even though you know we, we take this, the raw, the raw maize. Eh. Oh, yeah, you can consume the raw maize. Let me know if in your country or if you consume the raw maize before. Oh but yeah, you know the, you know this this one is even better than you cooking it. Actually, yeah, at the milking stage, a lot of people take it raw because of um, it contains uh, you know it doesn't contain uh, high fiber. It reduces cholesterol. You see, okay. the starch content too is not high at this at this point in time. You understand? But when it's like this, the starch is more yeah, cholesterol. It's more, and then the high cholesterol. Like even though it's normal, but. Sometimes you know they, uh, you know a lot of people doesn't consume meat, but they tell it because of cholesterol and stuff. Uh -huh. mm. But this is the real state that you are supposed to consume meat. Oh, okay. You get it. Uh -huh. So this is what you, you also do for living. So this is like uh -huh. three months. It's, it's another three months. Okay. Yeah, but if you want to leave it to dry, then it it, it, it has to take extra 
months before it will come dry. So like how many months up up to, up Oh like up after the milking stage, after it's grown, it has to take like one month, two weeks before it becomes dry. Oh. And at this point in and time... And it becomes dry on the plant. You don't have yes, it. Yes. It, it will become dry on the plant. You can, it, then you come and take it off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And at this point in time, there is some rodents that attack uh, ah, that's, oh, okay. the yeah, bees. Yeah, yeah. yeah, especially grass cutter and all those bears. You see, so at this point in time, all the, uh, you have to make sure that you be visiting the farm all the time. You see, uh -huh. so that you not get, uh, you not lose your. Yeah. Mm. So, so I showed you a picture. I'll show it to you guys on the screen, probably at this side or this side. But that's the person opening the bees, like the just did. Yeah. And there was a. I don't know. Uh, it was, it was infested, yeah. yeah. So, okay. what, what's I, I, was, what? I was saying that, you see, sometimes if you don't do to, uh, soil test and then you plant, even though you get good variety to plant, but I don't know the production at the milking stage, you see that you may face a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially when um, you, when you open it, you see that there are worms infestation and then maybe um, you, you, you even see sometimes powdery midway within the... Uh, the, the the blister okay uh -huh. and some worms you understand sometimes it's being affected from the soil from the soil if you don't test your soil well, or if you don't control your maintenance if you don't maintain it well so that it will be infested okay, mm -hmm. okay. yeah okay. Okay. all right so i think uh want to soon you've come to the end of the video please forgive me and but anyway, I, I invited you guys so yeah you're also invited <laughs> I'm not sure you can eat it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, but I've not tried. I've not, I don't know. It's very nice. Eh. It's very nice. Seriously, it's very nice. Let me, let me Even in the Bible, in the Bible, when uh, it was uh, on the Sabbath day, when Peter was going, they were hungry, and this is what they took. Mm. Oh, but it's nice. They so. didn't cook it's it. Not, it's not that bad. <laughs> like it's juicy. Yeah. Yeah. You see, so this is the milking, the milking stage. At a point, you can eat it raw. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We are at the final stage of the maize production. This, as of said earlier, we said normally, aside the fruiting one, you can you leave it for a month and I think a half or so for you to get to the dry stage for you to be able to harvest it. So, up here, as you can see, like as the viewers can see, we are at the dry stage. Yes, we are. The fact that we have all dried maize that are ready to be harvested. So, up here, can you at least take it from here? So, okay, yeah, the that. So actually, this is the final stage of the maize production. Okay. So at this time, around maybe, you know, if you are preparing, if your buyers are, maybe the buyers that you got, they are interested in getting the dry maize. You mm. see, the dry corn. So this is what you harvest and then thresh it for them. So this is the final stage. And at this point in time, you see that the best will be worrying the, they'll be dehusking it. Okay. And picking the corn from the, uh, the, yeah, the best, they like dry maize. See, they, like... they like the dry maize and then even the milky uh, own, okay. uh, the fresh maize. You see, so if you can hear, the best are on it. Yeah, so at this point in time, all these uh, functions are, like, they are, they are no more functioning. You they see, because the formation of flowers has ended, the milking stage too has ended, and then the tasseling stage too has ended. So this is the um, dry, the dry one. So if you take this one, you see that, the maize in it has dried as the leaf too has dried you see mm. so you see so this is the dry maize for preparing uh corn dough and then yeah uh, so uh if you i can say i give an example the banku we eat and all yeah. those things these are the ones yes they take you to the milling machine yes. to grind it to grind it okay they, okay they 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 dissolve it in water for three to four days uh, to ferment it soft? yes okay before they they send it to the mill so is this yeah. one that's normally they, they do it and they give it to the poultry? The, the poultry, yes, stuff. yes. Okay, yes. thank you. So this is the dry stage of me. So at this point, in the, after harvesting, you can take it, uh, you can take it off and then do crop rotation. Okay. So instead of you planting maize again, you rather go in for either pepper or garden eggs. So you clear away all these ones. Yeah, you clear and it. The same soil you do. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's not advisable to plant the same crop on the on the on the same field. You understand? Is there a reason? Yes, there is a, a, a lot of reason because okay. if, let's say, if this one was infested by diseases, yeah. the new one that you are going to grow must be free from that disease. So normally we, we plant uh, non-susceptible crops. Can you give uh -huh. an example? Like, you know, 
maize and then pepper, they are non susceptible. They are not of the same family. Okay. okay. You see. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the disease that will attack uh, maize it can't uh, it cannot affect uh, pepper. You understand? So we do that to rotate the, 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 the like we do it in a rotation form. Sure. So that all the time you get good yield or maximum yield. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. I never knew that. And I hope you guys watching us too, Alice. You never knew about this. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. So the soil, you know, initial conversation, we're talking about the type of soil. Well, in using. actual sense, uh, you know, we, look, we normally uh, look at uh, 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 sandy loam when it comes to uh, maize production. Mm. We normally use, you know, maize can be grown anywhere, depending on the rainfall pattern. So it but needs more rain? In not, uh, it needs uh, more rain, like rain from 1200 uh, mm. Yes, it, like if you get a rain that uh, falls less evenly, evenly distribution, that like, doesn't need much rain. Okay. Uh, so you can grow your maize any, any, at any point in time. It's not rain fed, even though it needs uh, rain from the growth Early stage uh, the stage, to yeah. the uh, tasseling stage. So if you have your simple irrigation materials, you can grow maize. Any uh, any point in time, yes, all year round. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So um, I think I think yeah, that that will be the end of the, the yes. entire maize production yeah. stage for us. So yeah, so uh, I thank you for watching to this point in time. At least being with us throughout the journey till sure. now. I know now you have an idea how to grow your own maize from start to finish, or how the maize you consume, what we see on the market, is being planted and taken to the production phase to so the time it's been harvested. So yeah, if it's really your first time watching or seeing me in this channel, my name is Charles Echi, I'm a task consultant and I'm passionate about farming. So on this channel, we mainly talk about farming in Ghana. You can take your time to check out previous videos and enjoy the content on this channel. So please, kindly like this video. Um, the goal, uh, I'm hoping to get 500 likes on this particular video. So please, after watching, after enjoying it, kindly drop a like on the video for me. And subscribe if you, not, if you haven't, and turn your post notification on. So you get regular updates when I upload any new video. Okay, so yeah, catch me in the next one. Bye.